Hi everyone, as you may know from my past videos, I wanted to learn more about Blender. This time I decided to check out a book called Blender 3D by Example. It's a really good book, I'll put the link in the description. It offers a bunch of tutorials on how to use Blender, and specifically for this video, a program called Meshroom, which is separate from Blender. It's still free and easy to download. The simplified version of this program is take a bunch of photos and turn it into a 3D object. That way you can use it in Blender or just about any other modeling program. However, from the title as you can see, I came across an error that I wasn't able to find an answer for online. After some digging around in the program, removing steps, and even trying without saving, I figured out how to get past it. Not suggesting that this is the correct method, but one way that I've found that worked for me. So after bringing in the reference photos from the tutorial, we're going to click start and then it will prompt you to save. This first example we're going to go ahead and save and then we're going to start the process. As you can see here there's a red line on feature matching which is when it threw the error. If we click on the log button you'll be able to see the error. It was supposed to create a file called imagematches.txt and it didn't create the txt file that it was supposed to. So this time we're going to click continue without saving and after a few minutes you can see the feature matching step is now processing. but it died on the depth map step. I think it failed on this step because I use a Dell laptop without a powerful GPU, and they suggest that you have a CUDA enabled GPU. We're still able to see a preview in 3D, as we can see here on the right side, but it wasn't the final model. I had also scaled down the photos as my computer was grinding with the originals. As an additional test, I did take out the last couple steps that needed the GPU but the model didn't quite turn out so well. It seems like an interesting program, and I hope to explore it more. But for the time being, if this helped anyone else, that's great. Remember to click the like button and leave a comment if you found it helpful, and subscribe and follow for more tutorials and 3D creations. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.